Now on WKRG News 5. Good morning, it's 425. Thanks for joining us here on News 5. Coming up this morning on News 5 at 430, all aboard. Well, not in Alabama. Governor Kay Ivey shuts down the proposed Amtrak passenger Gulf Coast train line. And the man police say is responsible for a stabbing at a popular Mobile pub is now in jail. Plus, Baldwin County school system will be the first in the state to have resource officers in all of their schools, we'll explain. Mobile police are urging people to make a move towards improving home security, but is it too invasive? We'll tell you what they're asking homeowners to do. And a canine officer in Pensacola takes down a criminal to show you his heroic action coming up here on News 5 this morning. All of that, details and all of those stories straight ahead at 4.30. First, let's get your Friday forecast. Here's meteorologist John Nodar. All right, and we start off with another mild, sticky summer day. Temperatures in the 70s to open things up. 90s to finish things off. And, well, you'll see in just a moment what we're looking at in terms of dew points and uh, heat index. Dew points back in the 70s again today. Dew points in the 70s are high dew points that lead to an uncomfortable feel. Now, heat index at uh, 426 in the morning is not an issue, but it's going to be by the time we get to, say, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Instead of these 70s and 80s and even 90s now, you will be looking at a heat index uh, probably close to or a little above 100 degrees. So not enough to prompt a heat advisory, but certainly enough that you will want to use common sense when you're outdoors today and not overdue. This is the view of downtown from Battleship Park. We've got the camera turned around today, and we're looking over the downtown skyline, and things look mighty nice there. On the radar, there is little to see, at least in our neighborhood, still raining not as much down here in South Texas. The rain is finally going to ease off for those folks today after another round of really uh, awful flooding on the heels of last year's awful flooding. So they were just getting back on their feet and then they got pounded by 14 plus inches of rain in South Texas. For you, it's just a quiet radar to start. We'll get showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, a few near the coast and quite a few more as we go a little ways inland. So your umbrella forecast, kind of the middle of things at a 30% rain chance, maybe a bit lower, 20% or so close to the coastline, could be 40, 50% as you get up into, say, uh, Thomasville and Chatham. This is right at the coastline. In fact, it's Orange Beach and things look mighty nice at Orange Beach this morning. Moderate risk of rip currents. The forecast for today starts off humid, ends up steamy, and has some thunder in the middle. Um, again, uh, depending on where you are, there'll be more in the way of thunder and lightning toward the north. It's certainly going to be warm. We'll end up above the 90 degree mark. So here's a computer model forecast, at least one of the computer model forecasts showing southwest winds and not much in the way of rain through uh, 6 p.m. I, I think there's going to be a bit more than that, but uh, this shows most of the rain arriving in the evening hours and, again, most of that rain in our northernmost communities. Here's the extended outlook that includes lower rain chances over the weekend, a 10% rain chance for Saturday and Sunday, so good deal of sunshine over the weekend. We're back to a 30% rain chance Monday with highs in the low 90s. Medical malpractice is America's third leading cause of death. Not some other country, right here in America, 250,000 people are killed every year due to a doctor or hospital's negligence, and countless more are injured. If you believe you or a loved one were the victim of medical malpractice, call our dedicated team today. Our review team includes a registered nurse so we can quickly evaluate your case, and you pay nothing unless we recover for you. Call or visit to learn more. Morgan & Morgan, ForThePeople.com. Every day, WKRG News 5 brings you stories about your health. Well, now we'll look at health care from a new perspective. Join us this Friday for The Doctor Is In. We'll talk to Gulf Coast health professionals, asking medical questions and getting answers that you need. This week, Dr. Michael Mishad joins us from Southern Cancer Center. Feel better informed about your health. Join us for The Doctor Is In, Friday at noon on WKRG News 5. Oh, Charlie's. Kids eat free every day, all day. 
local coverage you can count on. You're watching WKRG News 5 this morning. Good morning, everyone. 4.30 Friday morning. Thanks for joining us here on News 5. I'm Bill Riles. First on 5 this morning, a big traffic alert heading into the weekend here in Mobile. The westbound Airport Boulevard Interstate 65 southbound ramp will be closed for 10 days starting at 7 o'clock tonight. ALDOT will be repairing a portion of the concrete bridge deck on Airport Boulevard. You can expect single and double lane closures on airport while work is being done. So be prepared for some major delays if you have to go through that area. So you may want to find another route. The project, again, scheduled to be completed by the first week of July. And again, that work starts at 7 tonight. It looks like Amtrak service will not be returning to Mobile anytime soon. Governor Kay Ivey killed the plan and in the process derailed a route that would have stretched from New Orleans to Orlando. While many people, including local officials here in Mobile, were behind the project, Governor Ivey did not stand behind it. Governor Ivey stated more critical transportation projects took precedence. In a prepared statement, she writes, as we continue to address congestion, <coughs> pardon me, on our surface transportation systems, both on our highways and rail system, I currently do not plan to provide limited state resources to passenger rail service. We have higher, uh, higher priority opportunities to address congestion on I-10 through the Mobile River Bridge Project, expansion of the Port of Mobile, and numerous highway projects around the state. Many people we talked to, though, were not impressed. I was looking forward to being able to, on the weekend, get on the train, ride to New Orleans, have some great food, some good entertainment, and ride back home. And she killed all that. I mean, we have to start thinking long term. Something like this is a long term plan. We can't be living in the moment in Alabama. We have to think into the future. Well, Governor Ivey's Democratic opponent in Alabama's governor's election, Walt Maddox, disagrees. He writes, this decision continues Governor Ivey's pattern of outdated governing that keeps Alabama at or near the bottom in everything that matters. In missing this opportunity to position Alabama at the epicenter of passenger rail travel on the Gulf Coast, Governor Ivey proves that Alabama is not on the right track. <coughs> Pardon me, May Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson revealed a statement on that decision. It reads in part, we have more work to do to make it a reality, so we'll roll up our sleeves and continue to work closely with the state of Alabama, the Port of Mobile, and with our neighboring communities along the Gulf Coast. You can find the full story and quotes on our website, WKRG.com. A man police say was stabbed several times at Callahan's Irish Pub in uh, Oakley, the Oakley District, late Wednesday night, is still in the hospital in critical condition. Meantime, 43-year-old Robert Chapman is charged with assault in that stabbing. Police say just before 10 o'clock uh, Wednesday night, two men, Chapman and another, both considered regulars at the bar, got into an argument inside Callahan's. Witnesses say people inside the bar were able to hold Chapman down until police arrived. Patrons and Callahan's owners say they couldn't believe what happened. Just shocked and stunned and a bit of amaze because we just don't have that sort of thing happen right at the best bar in the South. It was very quick. Nobody heard what happened and there was no time to stop it. People we talked to say the stabbing won't stop them from going back to the extremely popular bar. A body was found last night outside a Dollar General in Milton. Investigators with the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office are trying to find out how the body ended up at the store on Highway 90 in East Milton. Officials have not released the person's identity or cause of death right now. Mobile police arrested seven people in a warrant roundup yesterday. News 5 rode along with police and caught the action on camera. Police called this Operation Baywatch. They said they were targeting drug dealers. One juvenile was also detained during those raids. A woman pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the heroin overdose death of a veteran. This is 25-year-old Darian Caldwell of Fort Walton Beach. Police say she gave heroin to 36-year-old Chad Beasley of Shalimar in October 2015. He overdosed and died. This is the first successful investigation in Okaloosa County where a defendant was charged and convicted for their role in an overdose death. Well, caught on camera, the Escambia County, Florida Sheriff's Office needs your help finding an armed robbery suspect. The Sheriff's Office says the man in the dark sweatshirt, sunglasses, and white bandana covering his face pulled a gun and demanded cash and cigarillos before running away. It happened on June 15th at the K&J Market on North W Street in Pensacola. That's not far from Pensacola Catholic High School. This man is also wanted for several other robberies in the area. 
Baldwin County will be the first county school system in the state to have resource officers in every campus. The school board tra approved the training on the uh, additional 17 officers by August. Currently, there are 30 full-time school resource officers in, in a county with 47 campuses. School board, county commission, and sheriff's office will pool resources to train and fund the initiative. It's a collaborative effort amongst a lot of people around our county. But the bottom line is, it's for the safety and security of our children. We're being proactive. The training of the additional officers will begin next month. Sheriff Hoss Mack says just the presence of an officer on campus will prevent crime and quicken the response to any emergency. The Baldwin County School Board also approved a new dress code policy for the fall. There is a different set of guidelines for elementary students than middle and high schoolers. The most drastic changes are for the older students. They no longer have to wear polos and sweatpants are now allowed. To see all of the changes, be sure to visit our website, wkrg.com. Well, the man accused of decapitating his mother in Stone County, Mississippi, says he did it. We want to warn you, it's a gruesome story. Mike Lacey has the report. As Terrell Johnson was being led into the courtroom, he had this to say to reporters. I plead guilty. Huh, you plead guilty? Yes, I done it. Why? I to talk to my lawyer. His attorney, Jim Davis, was taken by surprise. I advised him not to say that, so <laughs> I won't comment on that. Captain Ray Boggs with the Stone County Sheriff's Department testified. Boggs told the court that a welfare check request for Sherry Johnson came June the 6th. At the scene, Boggs said Terrell Johnson first said his mother was okay, but Boggs said when he went into Sherry Johnson's bedroom, blood was everywhere. He said Johnson admitted he had choked his mother until she passed out. He told Boggs that he used a butter knife, his hands, and his teeth to decapitate her. He does have a substantial history, and y'all heard the facts of this particular case. Uh, that's not a normal homicide. Davis said it's too early to determine if there will be an insanity defense, but he has begun to lay the groundwork. We got to wait till we get the records and probably have him properly evaluated. Then we'll kind of know where we're heading. It's a story that has shocked the community. I mean, a young life gone for such a positive person that had so, uh, such a great impact on kids and our families and community. We praying for her family, uh, praying for the community, praying for Hattiesburg High, um, and um, just hope that, you know, justice will be served. We'll stay with us now. Coming up, a police takedown like uh, of a man with a shotgun. We'll show you what this Pensacola K-9 did when we come back. Tiffany Haddish, next access on the Gulf Coast CW. If you work on your tablet, read or watch TV in bed, you should spoil yourself with an adjustable bed. Have hiatal hernia or acid reflux? Then you need one of our adjustable beds. That's the Sleep Center in Mobile and Spanish Fork with three locations to serve you. In the last four days of the Joseph A. Bank Lowest Prices of the Season event, save up to 85% store-wide. Find suits $179, sport coats $139, dress shirts and sports shirts $29, plus casual pants $39. The lowest prices of the season event, only at Joseph A. Bank. Mobile, Alabama, 1940. UJ Chevrolet open for business treating people right. With the best cars, best trucks, and best price. Over the years, the models changed. But UJ's way of doing business, well, it's pretty much stayed the same. Now you can own a 2018 Equinox and save up to $7,000. Find new roads to UJ Chevrolet. Four generations, family owned. It's the summer of me. Like summer vacation. Cool off with all your Me TV favorites. The summer of me. The summer of me. Me TV. Channel 5.3 and these other providers. People everywhere are confusing Quilt of Northern for a bouncy castle. They're both durable, flexible, and nice to have at parties. But Quilt of Northern is not a bouncy castle. It's just really nice toilet paper. 13 hours smoked brisket from a fast food place doesn't make sense. But this is Arby's. We don't make sense. We make sandwiches. Arby's, we have the meat. 
Looking for something more intelligent in your next sedan? Well, look no further than Hyundai. The Sonata is packed with technology and comes from the brand name number one in customer loyalty nine years running. The Elantra is all brains with smart brakes and smart cruise control that adjust to changing traffic. All on top of America's best warranty. So every Hyundai sedan is a great deal more than just a great deal. Get up to 3500 total savings or 0% APR on the 2018 Sonata. Visit buyhyundai.com. In the last four days of the Joseph A. Bank lowest prices of the season event, save up to 85% store-wide. Find suits, 179. Sport coats, 139. Dress shirts and sport shirts, 29. Plus casual pants, 39. The lowest prices of the season event, only at Joseph A. Bank. If you work on your tablet, read or watch TV in bed, you should spoil yourself with an adjustable bed. Have hiatal hernia or acid reflux? Then you need one of our adjustable beds. That's the Sleep Center in Mobile and Spanish Fort, with three locations to serve you. Family Feud, today at 4 on WKRG 5. You're watching WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on with Bill Riles, Jessica Toloni, and meteorologist John Nodar. This is WKRG News 5 this morning. 441, welcome back to News 5. This morning, Mobile Police hosted a community meeting for Precinct 3 on a new way to keep neighborhoods safe. It's called Project Shield, and the idea is for you to share your security video feed with police. When homeowners give police access to their outside cameras, police say that can help catch crooks faster. Brenda Spencer grew up in Precinct 3. She came to the meeting because her father still lives in the community. Anyone that breaks into someone's house or takes something from someone's yard, you know, a thief thinks that's mine. I'm going to take it when I've worked hard for it or my father, someone has worked hard. Sometimes those camera feeds see stuff that you as an individual may not see because you may be in the interior of your home, may not be looking out a window when an uh, incident occurs. And while sharing your cameras may sound like you're inviting Big Brother into your home, police say they only check the cameras when a crime happens in an area. The next and last Mobile Police Community Meeting is scheduled for next Tuesday, June 26th at Tillman's Corner Community Center on Carroll Plantation Road. That meeting begins at 6 o'clock. Today, Mobile Fire Rescues Friday at the Firehouse will be held at Station 6 on Hillcrest Road. You're invited to the open house style meet and greet. It's from 530 to 7. It's your chance to get to know your local firefighters and learn about the equipment and skill needed to be a firefighter. Games and light refreshments also will be served. Friday at the Firehouse continues every Friday through August 31st. Caught on camera. Dramatic body cam video of a canine disarming an armed suspect in Pensacola. Police say the dog saved their lives. Here's News 5's Brian Clerkley with the story. In the video, you can see Pensacola police walking up to the home. They say the suspect, Oliver Hurst, ran inside the home and refused orders. Let me see your hands, man. Your hands. I know, my hands are up. The police then enter the house and you can hear them tell Hurst to drop his gun. Police say Hurst grabbed a shotgun from under the couch. Drop the gun! 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 Drop it! In this slow motion clip, you can see the canine, whose name is Foster, disarm Hurst. In the next part of the video, you can see the officers take Hurst down and get him under control. Pensacola police say this 18-month-old German Shepherd saved their lives. And that's Brian Clerkley reporting. Hurst faces several charges, including battery and burglary. Coming up next, Alabama star point guard heard his name called at last night's NBA draft where Colin Sexton will be playing his pro ball. That's coming up. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. At AT&T, we believe in access. The opportunity for everyone to explore a digital world full of possibilities. Connecting with family, friends, and the things that matter most. And because nothing keeps us more connected than the Internet, we've created access from AT&T. If a member of your household is a SNAP participant, you may qualify for home Internet at a discounted rate of $10 a month. No commitment, deposit, or installation fee. Visit att.com slash access now to learn more. 
sometimes share time with my dad with his clients. That's okay, because he helps a lot of people. Okay, I'll call him on his cell. Thanks. He helps so many that I recorded him doing it. Some people bring their phones camping in case of emergency. He does it so he can call people back. They'll call you right away and try and get a state. On family trips, his work is like my homework. It gets done first. That's attorney David J. Maloney. I am returning a phone call. Here's my dad talking to a client while sightseeing in New York. I recorded him on the phone with an insurance company on our way to the airport. $24,000 represents the value of the treatment of the pain. The pain's got to be worth more than that. I also taped him scheduling appointments while we were waiting for a plane. He says injuries can happen at any time and any day, so he helps people every day. Very good, thank you. I liked recording my dad because it shows people how hard he really works. My dad is David J. Maloney. He helps accident victims, and he will return your call. Summertime, when things are really heating up at Palace Casino Resort. Don't miss our half-price lunch and dinner buffet every Monday through Thursday with points earned. And for the best outdoor dining on the coast, visit Wahoo's Poolside Bar and Grill, now open daily. Every Friday through June 22nd, join us for our Hang 10 Hot Seats and Drawings with 60 winners each Friday. And on Saturday, June 23rd, you could win a Mercedes CLA or $20,000 in cash. Palace Casino Resort, Biloxi's only smoke-free casino. way to get a great shed, garage, or cabin shell. Visit us online at toughshed.com. Summer sell down at Chris Myers. Every new GMC, thousands in savings. New 2018 Sierra 1500 two and four wheel drives, up to 17,000 total savings. New 2018 Acadias with GM supplier pricing, up to 9,000 total savings. Chris Myers GMC, summer sell down. Sierra 1500 two and four wheel drives, up to 17,000 total savings. Acadias, up to 9,000 total savings. Chris Myers, Buick, GMC, and Daphne. ChrisMyers.com. WKRG News 5 at 630, where you get your weather forecast first, right off the top. Make your evening plans with a Gulf Coast forecast you can trust. News 5's Forecast First, sponsored by Metal Roofing Center, embraced by architects, recommended by insurance agents. Now, meteorologist John Nodar with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, good morning to you. It is Friday morning, and your forecast headlines at 448 include another hot day with more inland storms and fewer coastal storms. So we'll find a midpoint for you before the, uh, before the forecast is done here. Temperatures, a lot of 70s, already quite a few 80s along the coast. And I mean... It's 448 in the morning, and it's 81 degrees in Gulf Shores, 82 in Pensacola, and 83 in Destin. Dew points are in the mid-70s. That is a way high dew point. It means there's a lot of moisture in the air, which I didn't need to tell you. If you've stepped outside, you know there's a lot of moisture in the air. But I will say that here's the dew point comfort index. Uh, 40s would be dry, 50s comfortable, and we see that occasionally here in the spring. The 60s, humid, and then this is what we get for a lot of the summer and certainly for today. Uncomfortable, and that means our uh, daytime highs in the upper 80s and low 90s will feel quite a bit warmer than that. It's going to feel more like something like uh, at times 100 degrees, 101 degrees. Just depends on where you are and what time of day and uh, also whether or not you're in the shade. Heat index is forecast for shade. So if you're out in the direct sun, it's even hotter. Here's the view out over uh, Daphne from the Alpha Sky Cam. At the Daphne Infirmary East, it's 82 degrees there with a west-southwest breeze, 89 degrees or 89 percent relative humidity, I should say. On the radar, I would open this out to the uh, wide picture of the Gulf just to show you that starting to ease off here, uh, Corpus Christi down to Brownsville, it got more than a foot of rain, at least 14 inches in a lot of places, and uh, they've seen some really terrible flooding there. We, on the other hand, have had it pretty quiet with a couple of exceptions. Had a big thunderstorm 
uh, late in the afternoon yesterday. It was right on schedule, and uh, we may see another one of those later today, but right now it's pretty quiet with a 30% chance of needing a green and Phillips umbrella, and that's the midpoint I was talking about earlier. 30% if you're uh, in the middle of the viewing area. I'll, I'll show you what I mean after we take a quick look at Orange Beach. Looks great at Orange Beach. Your forecast includes a humid start, a sticky finish, some thunder in the middle, um, and by the middle ground, uh, I'm talking about the really, literally, the middle of our viewing area. If you're at the coast, rain chance is maybe 20%, maybe even as low as 10%. And then as you get up here in Thomasville and Evergreen and Chatham, then your possibility of rain is going to be closer to uh, 50%. Not so much during the afternoon this time as during the evening. So you can see some strong thunderstorms on the forecast model here moving through at 10 p.m. The extended outlook, once that m moves by, is actually for lower rain chances this weekend. 10% Saturday and Sunday. We're back to 30% Monday. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. Thanks, John. Alabama's Colin Sexton didn't have to wait long to hear his name called in last night's NBA draft. The Crimson Tide point guard was taken eighth overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Sexton is the first Alabama basketball player drafted since Richard Hendricks was taken in the second round back in 2008. A big night for Sexton and the Crimson Tide basketball program as a whole. After being selected, Sexton was asked about the possibility of playing with LeBron James. Um, it means a whole lot just because he's one of the best players that ever played basketball. Um, and just being able to come in and learn from him, uh, it'll be big for me and big for my growth. Uh, it feels like, you know, we're back in the NCAA tournament again. My phone hasn't buzzed like this since we made it to the tournament, and it's all because of uh, Colin getting drafted tonight with the eighth pick by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Couldn't happen to a better person. Um, and I know his teammates are really fired up about this because they've been behind him 100%. We'll take a look at the top five picks. DeAndre Ayton went to first overall, followed by Marvin Bagley to third, Luka Donick, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Trey Young. Auburn has extended the contract of baseball coach Butch Thompson. Thompson and Auburn agreed to a four-year contract extension through the 2024 season. The Tigers went 42-23 and 23 and made it to the Super Regionals, the best season on the diamond at Auburn in more than 20 years. Still ahead this morning, students and graduates have something to look forward to now. A new bill is in the works to help those who may be behind on student loans. We'll explain straight ahead. It's 452. Weeknights on MeTV. Watch The Jeffersons at 5.30, Nash at 6, and Gomer Pyle at 7. You can find MeTV over the air and on these and other providers. I'm Mike Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've recently been involved in a car wreck, I want to tell you something the insurance industry doesn't want you to know. Their own studies show that people represented by lawyers receive at least three times the amount of money as those who are unrepresented. This is very significant. Call us on your cell phone at Pound Law. That's pound 529. And you only pay a fee to us if we make a recovery for you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people.com. All the answers you're ever going to need are in this book. Will Ainsworth, Christian, conservative, proud of it. I'm Will Ainsworth. I'll fight the liberal elites who mock our Christian values, take away our guns, and redefine marriage. Will Ainsworth, youth pastor, conservative truth teller, owner Dream Ranch. As your lieutenant governor, I'll go by the book and always stand for our Christian values that make Alabama great. Chris Myers Jeep, big time savings. During the Jeep celebration event, introducing new 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Buy now with 9,000 total savings or $179 a month. Drive new 2019 Cherokee, $179 a month. Chris Myers celebrates Jeep, new Jeep Compass, 7,000 total savings or just $99 a month. Drive new Compass, $99 a month. Chris Myers Jeep in Daphne, ChrisMyers.com. Every day, WKRG News 5 brings you stories about your health. Well, now we'll look at health care from a new perspective. Join us this Friday for The Doctor Is In. We'll talk to Gulf Coast health professionals, asking medical questions and getting answers that you need. This week, Dr. Michael Mishad joins us from Southern Cancer Center. Feel better informed about your health. 
Join us for The Doctor is In Friday at noon on WKRG News 5. Checking out the view of the Mobile River here on this Friday morning. Welcome back. We all know just how expensive college can be, and student loans are a huge burden on many recent graduates. Now two congressmen have introduced a new bill to help protect students who are behind in their federal loan payments. Washington correspondent Morgan Wright has the story. College graduates who struggle to pay off student loan debt often face the prospect of losing their livelihoods. Federal law currently allows states to take away professional licenses, even driver's licenses, as punishment for falling behind on the repayment of student loans. I mean, in my state, the state of Rhode Island, it has the second highest loan debt ratio per capita of any state in the country. So young people are graduating on average with about $35,000 in debt. Congressman David Cicilline of Rhode Island and Drew Ferguson of Georgia have written a bill to protect borrowers. It makes absolutely no sense to strip away a license from someone when they are trying to earn a living and do the right thing and pay back their student loans. Ferguson says 19 states have laws allowing state officials to take away state professional teaching or driver's licenses for falling behind or being unable to pay back student loans. The, the idea is you're making it even more difficult for these students to repay their debt, get further behind, and so this bill would prohibit that. The congressmen say young people have enough challenges after graduating, and worrying about a career being stripped away shouldn't be one of them. The Protecting Job Opportunities for Borrowers Act would prevent states from doing that. We've got a real issue here when you take away the license from somebody that's trying to earn a living so they can do the th very thing we want them to do, which is to repay a student loan. In Washington, Morgan Wright. Well, a divided Supreme Court overturned a 25-year-old decision and online retailers will feel the biggest impact. The court ruled the states can now collect sales taxes from most online retailers. This will boost state revenues at the expense of consumers and sellers who have avoided sales taxes in the past. It was a 5-4 to four decision, and those dissenting in that ruling urged Congress to step in and set limits. Orlando International has become the first U.S. airport to commit to using facial recognition technology. It involves using facial biometric cameras that can be put near places like departure gates. The cameras verify a person's uh, identity in less than two seconds, and they're 99 percent accurate. Officials say the system will be used to process the five million international travelers that go through the airport every year. Facial recognition is also being used in 13 other U.S. airports. In Okaloosa County, six brand new beach wheelchairs are now available for people to use at Okaloosa Island. Saltwater Restaurants, which owns local restaurants such as the Crab Trap in Destin and Floyd's Fish House in Fort Walton Beach, covered the cost of the wheelchairs. Each one cost about $11,000. The county says the new wheelchairs will help meet the more than 400 requests it receives each year for beach wheelchairs. And Florida wildlife officials are awarding $250,000 to five organizations to research new ways to remove invasive lionfish from deep water habitats. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says $50,000 will go to each group and the contracts will run through next June. Lionfish are not native to Florida waters and scientists say they can negatively impact indigenous wildlife habitats. The Florida diving community uses spearfishing gear to control lionfish populations in shallow waters, but the fish can be found in waters up to a thousand feet deep, far beyond recreational dive limits. We've got more to come on News 5 this morning, a live report on some construction work that could be a big delay for some traffic in our area. That's still ahead. Jessica Filoni joins me in about one minute.